you. I see you. You've spent so many grueling hours trying to perfect the perfect bullet journal spread. You even bought a ruler, which are so difficult to find these days, and calculating and measuring the straightest lines possible. You've searched countless tutorials, trying to learn how to draw those stupid little butterflies for a fresh May bullet journal theme. But listen, you. Yes, you. Are you ready? to have a spread that doesn't leave you in tears on the floor, a spread that lets you just get the hell on with your day. You are worth it, honey. Let's do this. Uh, hello, beautiful, beautiful person, beautiful people who decided to click on my video. I'm so, I'm so honored. My name is Greta. Nice to meet you. So, bullet journals. A lot of people, a lot of my friends say like, oh my god, Greta, like, I want a bullet journal, but I can't because I suck at drawing and like, I can only draw little stick figures and like, I can't bullet journal because I can't draw. Girl, you don't need to know how to draw to bullet journal. I wanted to make a very easy February bullet journal theme. I got you, I got you. And let's get organized, let's get productive. Let's do this. What's up? Voiceover Greta here, coming at you from her bed. I have a bag of Oreos by my side. It's a vibe. Um, so February bullet journal spread. I wanted something easy, bright, simple. So I went with this boho, very basic, imperfect rainbow theme because honestly, you can switch up the colors to anything that you want. If you want it to be like more vibrant, less vibrant, I have six colors, brown, yellow, pink, purple, orange, and hot pink. And on the left side of the title page, I added this cute quote, <laughs> so cute. So it says, the same light you see in others is shining within you too. Because it is, okay? You gotta believe it. If no one's gonna believe it, at least you have to believe it, okay? And then other people will start to believe it. So I thought it was a cute quote. I just slapped it on there. And don't think I did this freehand because I didn't. You can see I'm erasing my pencil marks. I sketched everything before I did any of this because I am a top A little bitch and I need it to be very nicely aligned. Um, but yes, I thought this theme was super easy and hopefully it won't take you too much time. I mean, you can simplify it even more. Just have one rainbow, no rainbows, whatever you like. And above the rainbows have these little, I don't know what you call them, they're like lines sticking out, like it's shining, right, you know? So there you go, cover page, quote page, they real cute, okay? All right, let's move on to the calendar page. So if you're wondering what the size of the boxes are, they are five by five dot grid spaces, literally, I ride or die with five by five dot grid spaces because it's big enough for you to write things in. It's small enough to not be too big, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, I think it's a perfect size. Have February up at top and on the left, I have this box, this mysterious box that is eight by 13 dot grid spaces. And there I'm just gonna write any focus priorities I have for February because you know, we're hustling, we're trying to, we're trying to advance up in the ladder of life. So yes, wrote the days of the week, added more rainbows. She's very simple, erasing all of the planning I did because I did a lot of planning guys. I did this for you. And I have these little circles where I'm gonna write the days of the, the day it is, the number, the number of the day, the day it is, the number of the day. You know what I mean. Um, but yeah, thought it was really cute. Okay, let's move on to the next spread, which I have been, really, I just fell in love with it. It's my gratitude page. So just kind of what it sounds like every day of 
every day, I'm going to write something that I'm grateful for because it helps soothe the anxiety, you know what I mean? And instead of separations, um, separating each day by a line, I was like, nah, we got to spice it up, add a little bit of spice. So I thought it would be fun to color in every other row with this light purple color, you know, just make it look a little bit more bright and fun. So I wrote all of the days in February, 28 days. Added in some more rainbows, thought it was just mm, chef's kiss. Super simple, super cute. All right, the next page, we're getting a little bit more serious with the focus page. So what I mean by focus is, it's just my habit tracker. Um, I actually saw this creator called Mochi Bujo and she was she called it a, her focus page instead of her habit tracker and i was like girl that's so smart um so i have five habits that i'm tracking and you know you can add more you can add less but i basically colored in the column under each habit and every time i do the habit i'll just draw a black dot for that day of february so i thought it was a cool different way to have your habits displayed and there you go and just a note on habit trackers i really feel like it works because i'm like oh my god i gotta color in the circle gotta color in the circle so try it out <laughs> okay so the next spread is my month to do's so i'm basically drawing four boxes each one is 11 by 14 dot grid spaces and each box is essentially a category of my life <laughs> this page is very important to me um yeah so this is essentially my master to-do list that i have to do in february anything i can think of that's personal that may be work related that might be side hustle related or other i just jot it down here and then i'll decide later when i'm gonna do it in february but i just know i gotta do it you know what i mean and then during the week i'll just go back to the spread and be like oh yeah 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 okay so Next, we have a little content planner. This is obviously specific because I do YouTube, but you can switch this up, honestly, to school. It could be your projects planner, your homework planner, your, I don't know, your friend planner, like which day of the week you're gonna see who. I mean, you can do whatever you want with this planner. It's literally just a calendar and whatever day i decide to put out a video put out content i'm just gonna write what day of the week i wanted to i want to release it so hopefully this will get your sister organized um we'll see we'll see you'll probably see on my channel if it works or not and at the bottom i just have like an other stuff other ideas video ideas section Oh my gosh, I'm sad. We're coming to the end of my voiceover. I feel like I'm talking to a friend. <laughs> that's so sad. That's that's so sad. Uh, so weekly spread, the very important weekly spread. I obviously this spread is essential. It's of course your tasks for that week. So of, of course the first week of February is February 1st to the 7th. I added in a small little calendar. It's not like I need another one. I have like three already made in my bullet journal. Um, but basically every single box is for each day of the week. The boxes are 11 by 15 dot grid spaces. I just alternated the colors for the headers for Monday through Friday. I was gonna do it all one color, but I was like, no Greta, life is too short. Life is too short, just switch up the colors. Um, added in more rainbows, added in the days of the week, the number, the date. And there she is, she's super cute. Okay, I wanted to quickly talk to you about the bullet journal that I'm using because I know I'm gonna get some questions. Uh, this one is from Archer and Olive. I freaking love it. It's amazing, highly recommend. And this is what we created together. Look at how cute and simple. Like I'm so ready for February. Like February can just come at me. Like come at me, girl, like I'm ready. And yeah, that's pretty much it from Voice Over Greta. All right, enough of 
just my voice. I know you were missing my face. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that was a little bit of fun and you got some inspiration. I hope that you feel ready and productive and organized and like you're gonna kick ass in February because girl, we're gonna kick ass in February. I can tell you now. The fact that February 1st is on a Monday and the 28th is on a Sunday. I just feel like that's a good sign. But thanks so much for hanging out with me. I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.